have been investing now for years before arguably it was cool to invest in, in Hollywood. Um, I'm told by Is investors- Is it cool now? I think it's like, maybe it's jump ship. It's like beyond cool now. Um, I'm told by investors all the time that it's not just the product you invest in, it's the entrepreneur. I, I'm curious to know, you meet with so many entrepreneurs. What is the trait you look for when you invest? I think there's a lot of traits. I, I think the first thing that I'm looking for in an entrepreneur is, is this somebody that I want to work for? Um, as an investor, I don't really, I don't really put myself outside of the company. I, I try to put myself in the company. Um, and at the end of the day, you have to have somebody who has absolute domain expertise on whatever problem they're trying to solve or whatever like solution they're trying to hack. I think two, they have to be able to sell their product. Um, if they can't sell their product to me, how are they gonna sell their product to their consumers? Then the last thing is I think that they have to be generous people and thoughtful. They have to be the kind of person that you wanna work for when things aren't going well because things aren't always gonna go well and so that really comes down to being a generous person and being somebody who has grit and the ability to, to overcome a, a great obstacle. I'm told by so many of the entrepreneurs that you've invested in that you are a product guy at heart, that you are so involved when it comes to brainstorming for product. Anything you could point to that we see now, whether Airbnb, Uber, any of the products that, that we could see your, your thumbprint on? I would never like take ownership over something that they built. Um, you know, I, I, li I like to sit down with founders and I like to work on um, removing friction from process, whatever it might be. Um, and creating products that are intuitive. And one of the things that I get from working in the creative space and being an actor is uh, really understanding feeling uh, and touch and art. And you know, it's an art being able to being able to create an impulse within a consumer to do something is an art form. I could probably give you 10 or 20 examples of companies that have really just taken software that was archaic software that was untouchable by consumers and actually brought it down to a consumer level, that, that is becoming the process to making it, to building a great software company these days. You can look at a company like Zenefits, where it's like there's always been HR software that's been out there in some way, shape, or form. Or you can look at Robinhood, and there's always been ways that you can interface and do stock exchanges. But making it something that, that the average consumer can intuitively understand and touch and play with and use and, and have it be beneficial in their life is about understanding the intuition and, and the feeling of the consumer.